David Firth is a very famous animator in the YouTube community, sparking huge controversies in conversation with his animation. His creations are very odd and unsettling in nature. His videos mainly consist of very strange material that usually has a huge in-depth storyline behind it. Salad Fingers is one of David Firth's most famous creations, and the 11-year-old video has been viewed over 32 million times, as the whole series has been viewed well over 70 million times. After the first video in 2007, two years after the launch of YouTube, the video has blown up and has been followed up with a full series at the hands of Firth. Salad Fingers is an animation of a tall greenish bald man with a raspy voice, huge thick salad fingers, huge wide eyes, and a mouth full of jagged teeth. He lives in a house in the middle of a wasteland and comes into contact with strange places and creatures throughout the series. He has an unhealthy obsession with rust and spoons, and his describing and voice itself with the background music is enough to make you very uncomfortable. There are around 10 episodes with each episode contributing to the backstory of the entire show itself. We will be going through each episode and explaining it beforehand for you to get a grasp on the content and after we will explain the backstory of the series. We will be splitting this documentary into three videos. Please pay attention to even the slightest of details and try to think of your own theories until the explanation video and see if you are right. Episode 1. Salad Fingers is introduced as he breaks the fourth wall and says hello. He immediately goes on to describe his spoon and rust addiction and explains how he gets off on it. He then travels to a rundown looking house and a small creepy boy answers the door and he is incapable of creating sentences and instead creates noises but Salad Fingers seems to understand the boy's language. Salad Fingers goes into the house and requests to see the boy's spoon collection. Once he finds out that there are none, he begins to leave but stops and caresses a rusty kettle. The video ends with Salad Fingers getting off on a rusty kettle and we are left with a cliffhanger. Hello. I like rusty spoons. <laughs> I like to touch them. <laughs> the feeling of rust against my salad fingers is almost orgasmic. <laughs> I must find the perfect spoon. Hello there, young child. I'm here to inquire about your spoons. Uh -huh. Might I ask where you keep the spoons? I see. Then I must leave. But first, I'd like to caress this rusty kettle. Oh! In the second episode, he introduces the audience to finger puppets that he treats as real people and the image of the puppets are very peculiar. He then explains that he has a fish in the oven and then the video cuts to another scene with a human looking boy walking outside going by Salad Fingers house. Salad Fingers wants the boy to help out with the fish, but accidentally locks him into the oven. While this is happening, Salad Fingers loses consciousness because he stabbed himself and in the dream state, he is inside of a meat locker and meets one of his finger puppets. He then wakes up to smoke in the house caused by the little boy burning alive in the oven. The episode then ends. Hello. 
today I'm having a, a little get together with my friends. <laughs> oh, uh, hello there chaps. You arrived earlier than I expected. <laughs> And might I say, you are looking rather splendid this evening. <laughs> this is Hubert Cumberdale, Marjorie Stewart Baxter, and this is Jeremy Fisher. Say, say hello. I wonder what you taste like. Marjorie Stuart Baxter, you taste like sunshine dust. <laughs> oh, Hubert Cumberdale, you taste like soot and poo. I've, I've got a fish in the oven. <laughs> if anyone's interested. Hello, Nabila, come and tell you, Kesgilia. right at the back. I, I can't thank you enough. I like it when the red water comes out. I like it when the red water comes out of my Oh, yeah. Somewhere over the rainbow, way, way up high, there's a land that I heard of once. Hubert Cumberdale. Fancy seeing you here. Episode 3. In the third episode, Salad Fingers talks about how much he loves nettles, a type of plant that has leaves that irritates the skin. He later finds a worn baby carriage and puts the nettles inside of it. The creepiness is very unsettling, and the other things in this video are gross and very hard to watch. He strolls off with the carriage, and a humanoid, zombie looking creature gets upset that he takes the carriage and chases after Salad Fingers. The creature is wearing what looks like to be a supermarket uniform with barbecue printed on it with a name tag. Keep this in mind because it will be relevant to the plot later. The creature goes to Salad Fingers' house and begins banging his head on the door until he eventually dies. Salad Fingers sits in the house and rubs nettles on his body and then eventually finds the corpse. He then hangs the body on a meat hook and plays music. The video then ends. Today, 
I've been enjoying the pleasures of nettles. Oh, what, what, what's this rather queer looking contraption? You can be called a nettle carrier. There you go. of milk, Milford Cubicle. Episode 4. In this episode, Salad Fingers is wanting to find France, but is creeped out by a strange mutant creature that falls in love with him. The video then cuts to a scene where Salad Fingers is talking to a bug they are referred to as Sister and kills it and then yells at the bug for being gooey. He gets a knock on the door and finds a rusty water tap tied to a string and begins to chase it. These videos are very grainy and old and the sound effects are very clunky and basic sick and I think that it adds to the factor of the unsettling feeling of the video itself. He chases the tap through many terrains and into a jungle where he is captured by the creature that fell in love with him earlier. He is put in a cage and then teleports out of the cage after the creature proposes to him. The creature is left sad and crying and you almost feel bad for the creature as it sits there and cries. Hello, today I'm going to try and find France b b because I I've always wanted to go there. Ah, but, but that little boy has been watching me for a while now. I think I'll find France another day.
what have you been gathering today, little sister? Really? Ah, oh. oh, your body is so much fun. I, I just want to give you a big stroke. Flat little sister, uh, uh, and you're all gooey. I shan't play with you again until you've had a wash. Oh, uh, have I been gifted a grubby tap? I don't think I've ever laid fingers on one of those before. Oh, how I've dreamt of taps. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, I just want to marry all of you gorgeous taps. for the fingers. What, what, what's this? <laughs> I don't like this game. I think I'm going to go home now. Episode 5 In Episode 5, Salad Fingers invites people to a picnic and a little girl shows up and sits down and begins to eat. Many of the characters do not speak at all, and if they do, it is not any language you have ever heard. Salad Fingers seems to be the only intelligible character in the entire series. It seems that way until she breaks Salad Fingers narrating and says that the bird that took the spoon must like spoons too. Salad Fingers then has a nervous breakdown and begins to panic. He begins to hallucinate her in a trance, asking him creepily if he does not like like her mouth words. The end of the video is very creepy and terrifying because you don't know what's going on and neither does Salad Fingers. H Hello, operator. C could you connect me up to my old pal Charlie, please? Post haste. Pardon? 
Well, could you tell him that I am holding a grand picnic today? We've got gypsy creams, derby scones, admiral's pie, uh, ooh. Stop scratching your basket belly, said, said Mary Mandolin. How rude. I I've been uh, disconnected. Uh, oh. uh, why, if it isn't... Um, but Barbara, Logan Price, I've made you a friend hat. There'll be fog on the shore tonight, bosun. Hmm? <laughs> oh, oh, it, you look so beautiful. It, it, it is your big day. Guests should be here any time. Oh, but why? It, it, it seems our first guest has arrived. But would you like some confectionery? Does your Logan Berry crumble taste? It's simply delicious, replied Mabel. Uh, I, I must say, you're a well-mannered young lady. I, I, I'd like to elect you as my new playmate. looking frock on your body but but it looks awfully dirty my tummy box feels broken <coughs> would you like some peas pudding Peas pudding hot, peas pudding cold, peas pudding in the pot, nine days old. <laughs> I think he likes spoons too. What's wrong? wrong, Mr. Finger? Do you not like my mouth words? Naughty mouth. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell beside it and select the box. This way you will be notified for any new videos. Thank you for watching.